innovator entrepreneur to be or not to be that is the question first let us understand what is innovation any idea that is going to change the life for a group of individuals or a community as a whole can be termed as innovation what is innovation you ask innovation is a pillar to build any product that becomes basis for an ip that is intellectual property if you see your startup valuation is derived from an ip an ip consists of your product usp over competition your business model number of transactions customers revenue model and your core team expertise all bundled together now let's learn about types of innovation there are different types of innovation Firstly there would be new invention or a technological breakthrough just like blockchain that creates new market and transforms industries then there comes your disruptive innovation disruptive innovation is where you build a new business model and which disrupts the existing market for example you can create an alternative to amazon there is also sustainable innovation which aims to create significant improvement in your existing technology just like implementing artificial intelligence or machine learning in your current technology to stay relevant in the market now let's get into some specifics what is a startup a startup as the name suggests is a new business venture where the co-founders come together and believe that they have a solution to an existing problem or an opportunity to bring in a new product or service for the customers at large now you're probably curious to learn how easy or difficult it is for you to start your own startup let me state some fun facts so after usa indian startup ecosystem have emerged as one of the biggest in the world and post covid crisis india has become most preferred choice for global investors to invest into even more than china even our government have identified the potential of our startup industry and have come up with a lot of schemes and initiatives some of them being startup india aspire atal innovation mission atal incubation centers sub financial support from sidbi nabard patent schemes mudra bank etc any individual entrepreneur or startup can get access to these schemes very easily so this is all enlightening but is it practical the real question is why not start your own startup every mind is full of ideas with potential we have heard a lot of stories about bill gates steve jobs tatas ambani's etc to become a successful entrepreneur you need to believe in yourself and translate your idea into business opportunities by of course serving your customers If you have an USP, you are not far from raising funds to scale up your venture into a unicorn. Just take some help from incubators like Ten Thousand Startups India that supports startups and entrepreneurs end to end. My personal take on startup ecosystem in India is that soon it will become most preferred startup destination all over the world. Reasons being, good mix of developed versus developing cities backed up. by diverse income groups spread across the country so markets exist and there is enough potential to grow in each region of india today we have 800 plus vc funds in india and two to three new startups taking birth every day of the year with right innovation team support and efforts unicorn startups are a reality just in 3 to 5 years Just look at startups like Uran, Zeroda, Byju's, Dream11 and recently born Unicorn Misho and get inspired.